city in a Batmobile. Even though we get crazy, niggas don't talk like Swayze. What up? This is Swayze, and I'm gonna make this a quick video because honestly, I blame all of this on Queen Dougie Von Flock. I'm telling you, ever since this girl came to the town, a bunch of nonsense just been going on. And I'm not the only one complaining. I mean, they literally made a GoFundMe to get Asian Doll back to Texas. I mean, it's real out here. The NYC residents are fed up with her presence. Now, if you remember, not too long ago, I made a video about Asian Doll spreading rumors that Dougie B lined up c -Ha. And it looks like c -Ha's father is now responding to those rumors. Now, I'm going to let you guys check out this video, and I'll be right back with my commentary. Nas EBK, I speak to Nas EBK all the time. And he was one of the first young men that actually spoke to me when my son passed away. He um, reached out to me. He sent his condolences. You know, he asked if I needed help with the funeral, which I didn't, but he did ask. And he was the only friend of my son that asked me these things and asked me if I needed help. And, you know what I'm saying? Asked about his moms and reached out to his mother and all these things. And since that day, I've spoken to Nas EBK numerous times. I've spoken to the little homie many times. And he's never once said anything about um, Dougie B lying in Siha. That's not a conversation we ever had. So I'm not going to allow him to say we did. But I've heard many other times and a lot of people has told me that Dougie B lied my son. It's not the first time I've heard it. I don't want to believe it. And I'm in a position right now where I don't trust and believe anything anyone says right now. You know what I'm saying? As far as when it comes from just in the street in general, I don't trust or believe anything anyone's saying right now without certified proof. I don't know why Asian Doll said what she said. I'm assuming she had to hear something in order to say that. You know, but I'm not going to sit here and say that he ever said that to me because he didn't. I would like to speak to Asian Doll and find out, you know, what's what, who's who, and why was it said. But I don't understand why my son became a topic when they had a fallout. That didn't register good with me well. But um, I definitely, definitely, definitely would like to speak to Asian Doll. Like I said, I reached out to her, short, brief conversation, but I wanted to get in detail with her. Um, Dougie B, same thing. All I can say is that I hope, Dougie, I hope you didn't lie on my son. You know what I'm saying? I just hope you didn't. That's all I can say. My son looked at y'all as brothers. Certain people was like brothers to my son. And I know money in the industry make people do some weird shit. I just hope that that wasn't one of the weirdest things that y'all had to do, which was sacrifice my son. I just pray that wasn't the, the situation or the issue. You know, it's just weird. Everything is weird that I never see a rest in peace, see how. I don't see a rest easy, see how, unless it comes from me or his family or the grapes. You know what I'm saying? But as far as his immediate DOA and all that stuff, I don't see none of that. And the bad thing is, if K Flock was home, my son will be alive right now. You know what I'm saying? I hope and I pray every day for Kay. I pray that he comes out of his situation a winner. Because that young man put the Bronx on his back and he carried everybody, put his whole team on. I respect Kay. Salute to Mama Flock as well. You know, it's just weird. It's a bad feeling when you starting to think his own people did it to him. You know, it's not good because now you don't even know how to take his people when you talk to him or nothing. Now, first thing I want to say is this. I think it's very honorable that Nas EBK reached out to see Ha's father just to make sure he was straight after he passed away. If you listen to the video, he said that Nas was one of the first to hit him up. And I just got to give props where it's due. 
That's some real nigga shit. Do you know how many people die, pass away, and the family members don't hear nothing from their friends or the people that they hung out with every single day after that friend dies? Like, that's real life shit. There's some people that you grew up with that ain't gonna even check on your mother once you're gone. Shit, you don't even have to die. Niggas go to jail and get forgotten about. So shout out to Nas EBK for that, but I will end off saying this. When I look at this video, I see a man clearly still mourning over the death of his child. And if there is Dougie B rumors spreading around, I'm sure the family wanted to talk about that behind closed doors. Not on the internet. But because Asian Doll was in her feelings and decided to say this shit on Instagram Live, now the father has to speak out and address it publicly. I just think it's an unfortunate situation. Here you have Asian Doll who's pushing 30 like me. Let's just keep it a buck. She's pushing 30 like me. Like, we, she, she ain't no young whippersnapper, all right? She decided to speak on a death of a kid that she doesn't even know, bro. She's not even from the towns. But pull up in the comment section and let me know how you feel about this situation. And if you like the video, don't forget to share. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And make sure you hit that notification button. But I'm off. Hold on, because it's a Queen's drill. Bow.